Today in our 2015 Lincoln MKX, we're going to be test fitting the Rhinorack Vortex Aero Roof Rack System. And this is going to consist of part numbers RRVA137B-2. These are the Vortex Aero Crossbars, 54 inches long. This is the black version. These also come in silver or aluminum colored as part number RRVA137S-2. Below that, we have the 2500 series feet here, and that's going to be part number RRRLKVA. And then below that, we have the fit kit for this car, and that's going to be part number DK228. That's going to consist of the clamp here, as well as the rubber pad that makes contact with your roof. This is a great roof rack system that has a wide variety of accessories that you can utilize with it, such as bike racks, cargo baskets, or cargo boxes. The bars are a nice aerodynamic shape. They're going to help cut down wind noise and drag. And the Vortex Aero strips are going to help out with this too. It does come with this tool here to unlock the plastic end caps here. And so pretty much whatever you put in the T-Track accessory here is going to be secure once this is secure. Now you can replace this with a lock that you can find on eTrailer.com to secure everything even more. With the T-Track accessories here, how this works is you would remove the strip, insert your T-Track accessory, and then cut the strip to length around it to keep it in place. The end caps themselves are also lockable, and they come, uh, they come to you this way, and it does come with a set of two keys for these locks. So everything is going to be nice and secure once it's installed on your vehicle. The points of where it makes contact with your roof, such as where the pad and the clamp here make contact, it's going to have this padding here on both to help protect your vehicle from scratches or abrasions once they're being installed. And these are custom fit to work around the contours of your roof as well. So let's go ahead and show you how the rear one goes into place. We already have it partially assembled on our table here. And we'll go through the rest of the process. So our first step is we're going to take our 2500 series legs here, we're going to install that on the other end of our bar. To make it a little bit easier on us though, we are going to flip the bar upside down, remove our end cap here, and then we'll go from there. Now normally, what would happen is we have this strip here with a measurement, and that would be slid into place, and then cut to length on how, depending on how far our actual leg needs to be placed here. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to leave this out and just measure it out. We'll take the metal bracket here, slide that in between, like so. Then utilizing our handy flat tape here, you'll find this measurement in your instructions with the fit kit. Measure it out. Then we'll take our included blue handle tightening tool here. Tighten on that bolt in the center until it's nice and tight. And it's not going to move. At this point, we can reinstall our end cap and secure that in place. Just to give you an idea of how this would look, once you would cut the strip to length, that's how it would set it in place there. And this is also going to assist with that cutting down wind noise and drag because you're not going to have this whistling while you're traveling. Okay, now we'll move on to our fit kit. The first thing we want to do is put in our rubber pad. These are numbered and there is an arrow and you want to pay attention in your instructions because it'll tell you whether the arrow faces out or inward or depending on what situation you have. In this case, it is going to be facing outward and it just pushes into place. Very easy. Then we'll take our clamp here, and these are also numbered. We'll undo the screw here at the end. Line it up. Just reinstall the screw slightly because we just want it held into place. Now we can move on to our vehicle. We'll start by opening up both of our rear doors.
And then we'll set our bar into place gently as to not damage our vehicle. And our next step is going to be measuring from center to center on the bars on both sides to make sure that the crossbar spread is going to be even. Now how we got our front bar into position, we measured from the center of the door jam here to the center of the bar. And again, you'll find those measurements in your instructions. And we'll come back to our handy flat tape here. Right, now we'll make sure that it's sitting evenly on both sides. This side could come towards us a little bit. That's good. We can take our tightening tool. We're first going to get it snug up against our roof on both sides. Then we'll go back and forth tightening down more evenly. giving it about five or six turns each side. Now some other accessories you can put on this roof rack are going to be things like ski and snowboard carriers, kayak carriers, so this does have a lot of uses for it. Now a neat thing about this tool here is you see that it's curved on the end. As you tighten this down, it'll straighten out and when it's completely straight like this, that means it's torqued down to its specifications, and this is to prevent you from over-tightening it on both sides. Final step is we'll take our end caps here. These just fit into place like so. Push in. Do this on both sides. All right, now finally, I'd like to give you a quick measurement here to give you an idea of how high these sit off your roof. So from the center to the bottom of the bar is going to be about two and five eighths inches, and from the center to the top, that's going to be about three and seven eighths inches. So that's more than enough space in between the roof rack itself and your roof. So if you have those accessories that wrap around your bars, it's not going to make contact or damage it. However, if you do have fully loaded bike racks or cargo baskets, you may want to keep that in mind when you're pulling in your garage. Both bars combined have a carrying capacity of 165 pounds, but you always want to double check with your vehicle's manual to make sure your roof can take those weights and go by their recommendations. And there you have it for the Rhinorak Vortex Aero Roof Rack System on our 2015 Lincoln MKX.